Welcome back to the Sunday Night Sports Blitz. Terrace Marshall made the decision to opt out of LSU's last game last fall, and he's been a busy man ever since. Go Nation's Burke Kirchhoff are caught up with Marshall ahead of his pro day earlier this week. Uh, Terrace Marshall opted out. He did a lot of things for us. Uh, gave us seven games, had ten receptions, had his best game, and he just thought this was the time to opt out. On a Sunday afternoon of what was originally scheduled to be the final week of LSU's 2020 football season, wide receiver Terrace Marshall Jr. declared for the NFL draft. What ultimately led to your decision to want to opt out after the Texas A&M game? Oh uh, man, just talking to my family, talking to my agents, and uh, me just, you know, praying to God. I feel like, you know, I had did everything I could, and uh, man, I was just going through injuries and stuff, and then I knew also, you know, what type of season it was. It was a lot going on during that year, but not just on the field, but off the field. Obviously, so all of that played a part in my decision. And I just feel like, you know, it's best, the best decision for me, you know, to get ready for the next level. It was hard, but he's still the go-getter. I mean, self-motivated. He hasn't stopped. I mean, constant workout, six days a week, grind time, grind time. He know he has a goal that he wants to meet, you know, and that's to hear his name get called in the 2021 NFL Draft. You know, he kicked it into another gear. Which, you know, I still see Terrence. I still see him, like say, self-motivated. He don't need anyone to pat him on the back. Now, after opting out, where have you been? What have you been up to? And who have you been training with? I'm in McKinney, Texas. Uh, I'm, I'm training at Michael Johnson Performer. It's been a grind. It's been a fun process, but it's definitely been a grind. Uh, six days a week. But uh, I mean, I know it's I know what's at the end of the road. I mean, hard work can always pay off. So I just got my head down grinding, you know, waiting for my moment. Before heading to Texas, right after Marshall left LSU, he took a trip down to South Florida to House of Athlete to begin preparing for the NFL draft. The Louisiana native is confident he can fit in any scheme at the next level after playing in three different offenses at LSU. It's all different types of receivers in this draft. You know, I'm every type of those receiver in one body. I, I, I can do everything in every category. You know, with me being six four my size, I feel like I got an advantage. Then I can do it. I can do everything, you know, the little guys too. I got speed. I can break down, you know, get out of my routes as quick as the little guys can. So great hands. And uh, so I just feel like I'm the total package. It's driving to be the best. And uh, hopefully, you know, they notice that. And scouts will get a chance to notice his talents Wednesday at LSU's Pro Day. So we talk about my blocking and stuff like that. But they're missing to me. They just want to see me run. And they want to see me in person. That film is already there. So I just want to take advantage of every opportunity to check all of the boxes, uh, everything that they're looking for. I want to be able to, you know, present that to them in a good way. Go out there and be me, be myself, and uh, hopefully, you know, they like me. You heard them talking about Marshall's pro day. Well, he put on a show. The wide receiver, stellar, 10-5 broad jump, a 4-3-8, 40-yard dash, and a 39-inch vertical. Marshall could hear his name called in the first round with fellow LSU wide receiver Jamar Chase. Now, we don't have to wait too long until we see where Marshall goes. The NFL draft. Wow, it's less than a month away? It's crazy to think. That is wild.